welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to install windows 11 without any kind of bloatware and this will be the perfect installation of windows 11 that will keep your computer neat and clean and i will be sharing the step-by-step -step method from creating a bootable usb to the installation process so let's quickly get it started so in the first step we will be creating a bootable usb of windows 11 and that we will be doing using the Rufus software that give us tons of options. So you need to come to this website. The link will be in the description. Then you have to click on the first link, download it, install it. And then you will be getting the link of Windows 11 ISO. So you need to come here, scroll down and you will find Windows 11 disk image for x64. So click on select download, choose multi edition, click on download now. Then choose the product language, click on confirm. And then you can click on 64 bit download. So once everything has been downloaded, next what you will have to do open up the Rufus software, select the device that will be your USB that you want to create a bootable USB from the drop down, select it. Next, you have the boot selection where you have to locate to the ISO that you have downloaded. So click on select, then locate to that ISO path, select it. Then once it's been done, you have to click on start. And now finally here you will be getting a tons of options. Like if you want to bypass the 4 GB RAM, secure boot and the TPM option. In case if you want to install on unsupported hardware, then you can select this option. If you want to bypass the Microsoft account and if you don't want to create it, then you can also keep the other option checked, the second option. And in the third option, you can see it says it will be automatically creating a local account. So you can simply type the name here and it will be creating a new local account instead of a Microsoft account. Okay, so once you are all done, you can click on start here and then it will take about like 15 to 25 minutes to create a bootable USB. So once the bootable USB is ready, what you have to do, you just need to connect to that computer where you want to install Windows 11. So once the USB is connected, you need to start the computer in the BIOS mode so that you can change the boot order and make the USB as the next booting device. So now once you come to the installation page, this is the most important part. So just make sure that you don't skip it. Now where it says time and currency format, you have to click on the drop down and select this to English world. Okay, so once selected, you have to click on next, then click on install now. And if you have the product key, then you can enter it. Or if you're reinstalling, then you can simply click on I don't have a product key. Then choose the addition, whichever you want to click on next, check the box, click on next, click on custom, uh, select your drive, then click on next. The installation will now be started. Now you might have a question in your mind that why did we select it English world in the time and region uh, during the Windows 11 installation? So basically what happened, the Windows algorithm, they install different kind of bloatware depending on the region and location. So it, this can be different for United States, this can be different for India, or this can be different for any European countries. But when we selected the world location, they really got confused as this is not any particular location. And that is the reason it will be skipping the installation of any kind of bloatware, right? So that is the reason we selected the world location so that it should not install any kind of bloatware. And during the installation, you will come to this page where it will say something went wrong. So you don't have to get panic. Uh, this is something that is related to the location that it's not been detected. So you don't have to worry about it. You simply need to click on the skip. Just choose your right keyboard layout, whichever you want to. Then click on skip as I don't want the second layout. So as we have created this bootable USB through the Rufu, so it will not be asking you for any kind of Microsoft account. And I also check the box of that asking for any kind of permission like location permission and many other uh, data permission so that all pages and the step will not be coming up and it will be bypassed all right guys so finally windows 11 has been installed now and you can see that there is not any kind of bloatware and you can see in the recommendation in the pinned application we don't find the bloatware that basically and, and usually we get during the windows normal installation Okay, but if you click on all app, you will find that there are few bloatware still remaining. 
and we have to manually remove it all right so for that what you will have to do i won't recommend that you should go with any kind of third party tool or any kind of a script it's very easy and very simple to do let's say if you don't need the clip jam so what you can do make a right click on it choose uninstall click uninstall very simple then you can come to another option whichever you don't need like feedback hub just go with the uninstall now why i'm recommending not to use any kind of third party tool because you know you cannot uninstall all the bloatware here okay some of them are really required by every windows users okay so whichever you don't need here like maps i don't really use map i never used map so i can uninstall it uh microsoft news no i don't need it so i can uninstall it microsoft team uninstall it i don't need it microsoft to do i don't need it so i will go ahead and uninstall it similarly you can look over the list here whichever you don't need just make a right click and uninstall and within few minutes you will find that you have the neat and the clean windows 11 operating system now now there is one more thing that you have to do like if i bring up the microsoft store so you will find that i will be getting some kind of error message that a store is not available in your country or your region because we selected the world location so what you will have to do right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left hand menu option click on time and language then click on language and region and here in country or region click on the drop down and select your preferred location now once it's been done if i close and reopen the microsoft store so you will see that it's now coming up without any kind of error message right so this is the best and the perfect way to install windows 11 without any kind of bloatware and i told you the remaining bloatware that how you can uninstall it so this way you don't have to use any kind of third party application third party script and safely you can install windows 11 so that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed this video and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.